It's the launch of the 2023 Macroeconomic Outlook for Nigeria with the theme, Nigeria in Transition, Recipes for Shared Prosperity. This support may not necessarily be directly based. Like other economic think tanks, such as the World Bank, the NESG expects the economy to grow by about 2.98% in 2023 amid the election year. While the overall global picture is gloomy and many economists see the chance of a global recession, the CEO of NESG, Mr. Jayo Lalaoye, is cautiously optimistic. So if you pull back subsidy and get about six trillion naira, if you again appropriately price naira and the subsidy in the FX that are going to people's pocket is dealt with, you might bring back another three trillion naira. If you then deal with things around leakages in terms of taxes, our assumption is that a new government that will come in will take charge, will work. And they've talked about what to do about security. So if they walk the talk, at best we'll probably do about 2.9. That's our uh, very optimistic assumptions, which is not uh, what we should be doing as a nation, knowing the fact that uh, our, our population is growing far beyond that. So we're not having real growth, but it's better than going negative. For the former President's Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Engineer Manso Ahmed, sharing prosperity should go hand in hand with building it. I feel a sense that we are placing, creating, or what is it, expanding the prosperity uh, above sharing the prosperity. I think the two must to go together. Because if you don't work on sharing the prosperity, even as we are expanding it, the gap is going to continue because it is the activity or the result of sharing prosperity that will boost the prosperity from the bottom. While some sectors such as trade and telecommunications are expected to boost growth, the NESG believes the government needs to prioritize its policy focus to drive the country's growth engine.